Hello Capricorn, welcome to your almost daily love reading. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. Hope all is well with everyone. And Capricorn, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is an illusion in tarot, so this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Okay Capricorn, let's find out what are your love messages today. Spirits and angels, please show me important and accurate love messages for Capricorn today. Capricorn. Eight of Swords, Capricorn, please don't forget that roles can be reversed in this reading. It could either be you or the other person you're thinking about or dealing with. Looks like a decision needs to be made here, okay? Somebody is feeling very conflicted here. It could be you or them, but there is a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking going on and I'm definitely feeling conflicted about this connection or about this person, uh, about a choice that needs to be made here. But with the two of wands in reverse, a choice will be made eventually, okay? For some of you, this could have been a third party because two of wands could mean a choice between two persons as well. On top of that, we also have got the, we also have got the devil card here. So, uh, and, and also an indication of maybe there is a third party or there's some lying or cheating going on. Anything that is toxic or negative uh, within this connection. So we've got the Nine of Cups. Yeah, someone is trying to figure something out here, okay? So I do sense an energy of someone very selfish and deceptive as well. So just be very careful how you deal with this person. Um, they've been thinking and thinking and trying to figure out a plan or a scheme. Scheming, trying to scheme something here. <laughs> because this is also a player energy, right? We've got the Knight of Wands a player in and out non committal and on top of that we've got the magician in reverse so yeah this person is trying to manifest something but i don't think it is something good that it is something that is i, I i'm sensing it's more self-serving than anything else okay because it's uh ruled this person is ruled by the devil energy could be you or the other person again roles can be reversed but a choice will be made. But I feel like the choice that someone is making here is because they don't quite have a choice, okay? Two of uh, swords here, yeah, feeling conflicted. Um, or two of swords could also uh, indicate someone may not want to speak to someone. Could be uh, blocking, a block communication, or someone not letting somebody in because you know with the two of swords could also mean blocking their heart chakra here but the eyes are bound maybe someone does not want to see someone or speak to someone it could also mean that if that's not it just sort of feeling conflicted between two choices here okay nine of pentacles is in reverse um mm, i do see like someone is trying to <laughs> you know i don't know why but i just keep when the magician appears you know it is a major arcana and especially when it's in reverse here and with the devil and the knight of wands i definitely do feel like this person um, is trying to it's up to no good here they're trying to figure out what they should do um for their own interests something to do with whether to you know be single or not to be single because the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I sometimes read it as someone pretending to be single, but actually they're not. But the Nine of Pentacles in reverse could also indicate uh, to me codependency because someone, this is somebody whom is not self-sufficient, okay? They may be uh, depending on the other person uh, in terms of, it could be money or whatever, okay? But um, 
some, yeah, I do see codependency going on here as well, whether it's you or them. But Page of Swords is in reverse, yeah, indicating someone stalking uh, very heavily, okay, whether they're stalking you or you're stalking them. But the Five of Cups here also, for me, you know, uh, there are regrets, okay, there are regrets. I feel like they do feel regretful. It could be you or them, but someone here is feeling very regretful for whatever that had happened here or disappointment, okay, still thinking. And they, I feel like someone here still can't let this go as they can't let these memories, bad memories go because mentally they're still very stuck with because of whatever that has happened to you guys in the past here, okay? And of course, got the Eight of Swords, so uh, feeling stuck mentally and emotionally as well. Ace of Cups is in reverse. Again, it's definitely indicating uh, a separation between two person here because Ace of Cups, if it's in the upright position, it is like a new love, a love that's unconditional, but sometimes it could also mean self-love. But in reverse, um, I feel like someone could feel disappointed with themselves as well for not loving themselves enough, for letting this person treat them the way they did, okay, or putting themselves in a relationship that, you know, because that's what they think, that's all that, that that they deserve okay Capricorn you know mostly most people you know they only go for people that they think they deserve okay so if somebody has I'm not saying if this is you it could be them or whatever the case is but I feel like with the sometimes when people have low self-esteem they just will go after people and they will accept people into their lives who are about at the same energetic level you know so um, but Capricorn, I feel like, yeah, someone here could be disappointed with themselves for, for not loving themselves enough, enough for putting themselves in, for being, uh, putting themselves in this situation could be a self, self-blaming thing going on here as well. But I feel like through this experience, the Queen of Swords appears. So the Queen of Swords, you know, finally, someone, you know, decided to be from the nine of pentacles here in reverse from codependency to finally being just, you know, uh, a tough, very, very tough character through this experience because Queen of Swords, you know, she, she appears usually after she has learned some lessons as in, you know, someone could have lied to them or cheated. Uh, so now now their guards are up, you know, so they don't let people treat them however they, you know, they won't let people walk all over them anymore, okay, at least, it could be you or them, but the two of cups in reverse, yeah, it's there's a disappointment in regards to this connection. Um, for some of you, this could have led to marriage, yeah, because of the ace of cups, but it didn't quite pan out as planned. Uh, five of Wands is in reverse as well, so I feel like there's also a sense of giving up, okay, giving up and not wanting to be a part of this drama, um, not wanting to argue anymore. Five of Swords is in, is in, is in reverse. I still, I feel like whoever who, whoever who is trying to, you know, um, remember, I feel like somebody here has an agenda, right? Someone who is selfish, they could be playing mind games. I feel like Whatever the case is, someone here knows about this game already and they are not stupid, okay? It could be you. Maybe you feel like, hey, you know what? I'm not going to get fooled again by by this person because the true colors have come out with the magician in reverse, you know? Maybe initially they showed you something else, uh, and but actually, you know, their true colors, you know, is <laughs> actually a devil in disguise right here. All right, Capricorn, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, I do only emergency reading. My information is in the description box below if you'd like to book me. If nothing else, I hope to see you tomorrow as I post your video almost every single day. Take care, Capricorn. Bye.